Today, I want to share with you my favorite text-to-speech tool for late 2020. And no, it's not Speechello. It is voicemaker.in. It is in beta. And what I love about it, I'm going to jump to the subscriptions, but it is $5 a month with a manual renew. That means you can pay $5, use it for 30 days, do a ton of transcriptions, and then it just, it doesn't auto renew. There's no like one-time payments. There's no big front end payment. There's nothing. I like that Joey voice from Speechello. I think Speechello is probably the best option on the market until I found voicemaker.in, which currently, even though it's in beta, I think it's given Speechello a run for its money. Now, Speechello has that Joey voice. And if you don't know what Speechello is, you're probably going to get targeted with their ads right now because I think their targeting's good. I think their product probably makes a ton of money for them, but they have a bunch of OTOs. The pricing can be, you know, outside of people's range. And there's a lot of great things you can do with text-to-speech. I'm not getting into that in this video. Instead, I'm just going to let this voicemaker.in do the talking and uh, we're going to paste in some text. We're going to go into some voices and uh, let's start with the standard text to speech AI engine. Let's look at all the voices. These are English US voices, but look at all the different languages they have. Now there are far too many for me to go through each and every one of these, but what I'll do is bring up an incognito window and I'll invite you to go to voicemaker.in. And uh, just a spoiler alert, you're going to have to pay the five bucks if you want to use it because they give you 250 characters for free, which is not much. That's what 250 characters looks like. So realistically, you got to pay the five dollars, but you can listen to any of these voices for free and you can make that determination if this product is worth your five dollars. And if you're using text to speech in any capacity, let me tell you, it absolutely is so. Without further ado, let's jump in. We've got the standard text-to-speech voice engine, the AI engine, as well as the neural text-to-speech AI engine. And I'm going to go right to my favorite one, which is a neural text-to-speech AI engine, Matthew. It's a male voice, and I like him in the conversational tone, which is only available right now with Joanna, Matthew, and Lupe. And... I've pasted my text in, but I do want to do a little bit of cleanup. So this was from an email and uh, instead of, you know, changing everything in it, I just want to make sure that I clean up the text a little bit because here there's some words like them. I say them too much and it's going to be better if he actually says the word chatbot. Love the results a chatbot provides. While some customers can be frustrated by ch by chatbots, we'll just do that. Especially those chatbots that try to talk. So here we go. We're going to just put a pause right here. And a pause right here. And a pause right here. And that should be pretty good. Now let's listen to this speech and let's see what Matthew has to you say. You hate or love chatbots. Not much in between. Unless of course you don't know what they are or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results a chatbot provides, while some customers can be frustrated by chatbots, especially those chatbots that try to talk like a human but instead respond with a lot of I do not know how to answer that. Or answer the question wrong entirely. Today we are talking about why how, and when a chatbot can be effective. This is entirely dependent on your business or your offer. I All right, so that's pretty decent. It starts a little too pa uh, fast. His pacing's a little bit off. So here we go, not much in between, unless of course, we need to put a comma there. You don't know what they are. And let's pause that or ignore them altogether. So I think that would clean that up. But I'm not going to waste too much time fine-tuning Matthew. Instead, we're going to jump around. Uh, these are new voices down here, these AI3s, as well as the ones with the new. And I want to share some of those with you. So uh, let's actually listen to Johnny. We can't do conversational with Johnny. So instead, we're going to do either the default or the DRC. I like the DRC. It's dynamic range compression, audio normalize. I just think it sounds good. I don't know what that means. Let's listen to Johnny. Or love chatbots. 
Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results a chatbot provides, while some customers can be frustrated by chatbots, especially You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between. Unless of course, you don't know what they are. Alright, so we need to definitely pause there. That's part of our problem. Uh, that's not a bad voice. Now let's listen to some female voices. You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most bi- You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business- You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results of chatbot. Now let's listen to some British voices. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results a chatbot provides, while some customers can be frustrated by chatbots, especially those chatbots that. I like Mia's voice. I like the British voices. Maybe it's because I'm an American. I like Ryan's voice. Listen, listen to him. You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results a chatbot provides, while some customers can be frustrated by ch I'm just sipping my tea while I listen to my British voice instructor. And uh, let's listen to an Indian voice. They have Indi Indian English accent. You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners love the results a chatbot. Now let's listen to an Australian voice. Chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. Most business owners. You either hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course, you don't know what they are. Or ignore them altogether. All right, so that's just a, a little bit of the voices that we're working with. Now let's go over some customizations on those voices. These were all using the neural text to speech. The standards sound a little bit more robotic, but I do want to show you, like, let's take Matthew on the standard, just the default setting. This is the same voice that I opened the video with. Chatbots. Not much in between, unless, of course, you don't know what they are. That is just not particularly great. Now here's Johnny. We already listened to him, but this is the standard text-to-speech AI. Hate or love chatbots. Not much in between, unless of course you don't know what they are. All right, so I just I like the neural better myself, right? That's just personal preference, but they do have a standard. The neural to me is superb. The conversational is superb. I'm going to wrap up this video. With, actually, no, before I get out of here, I want to show you, you can do the pauses. You can do the speeds within, if you want to speed it up, slow it down. You can do different volume levels. You can say things as, and on the standard, you can even add voice effects like breathing, soft, whispered, etc. This voice text-to-speech technology is definitely on the rise. It's becoming better. It's becoming more used. And ultimately... I think it's probably still best to be in front of the camera if you're making YouTube videos and doing all that stuff. But I do think there's a place, especially like in my seven day power profits email series, 100% free, sign up, link in the description. I do think there's a place for text to speech when you can take a long email, you can convert it into an audio format, and then it's almost like a five minute podcast, or they can read the article or the, uh, the email. So I think there's a real place for this text to speech stuff. And I am incredibly encouraged by what 2021 holds because VoiceMaker IN will be launching at some point. If they have an affiliate program, I will be promoting it. But right now they don't. So I'm still promoting it. Link in the description. Try it out. Go test out some voices. Let me know what your favorite voice is. And at this point, I'm going to wrap things up. But I'm actually going to let Matthew take it away. So, hey, Matthew. Thanks, God. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Matthew and I am speaking in a conversational tone despite being a robot. Scott, don't you think people should check me out?
Absolutely, Matthew. I think you're fantastic. You should subscribe to the AI Profits YouTube channel and enroll in your free seven-day email series where we look into how tech is changing the way we make money. Yes, they should. Drop this video a like and we'll see you in the next one. Matthew, over and out. You heard the man. We'll see you in the next one. This is a lot of fun, guys. Head over to voicemaker.in. Try this out. Uh, let me know your favorite voice and uh, take care.